Hey, what's up guys? Sam here, and I'll be doing the free video for Friday, October 25th, 2024. So just uh, finished making the premium video, as usual, for the folks in the central room, and we looked at the indexes, we looked at uh, interest rates, we looked at the dollar, and we looked at volatility through the VIX and the VVIX. And oftentimes when we do that, it all tells us one picture. Oftentimes it's just market go up. We just like to confirm it using a lot of different inputs. This time it wasn't as clear. Um, I think that if we just look at the market, that, you know, what's on your screen right now, which is the SPY weekly and the SPY daily, um, it seems to give a, maybe a false sense of calm um, that I think is masking some slight but numerous uh, issues. So let's start here with the SPY real quick. Um, in terms of the scores, there's really not a lot to see. It's just a max bull on both daily and weekly. And I think if we were just to be superficial and say, well, it's a max bull daily plus weekly, me buy, market go up, I, I think we'd be missing uh, some of the nuance. So let's kind of dive into the, some of the nuance here. Uh, one, uh, today's candle is uh, quite the ride, right? It gaps up, it runs higher, <clears throat> and as I'm speaking to you, it actually goes red. Warning sign. Second warning sign that I see, despite the fact that you have max bull, is uh, this weekly candle here that's forming, right? You see how this weekly candle compared to last week's candle has a lower high, a lower low, and a lower close. So that candle on its own is uh, a little bit of a naughty candle, right? Those kinds of candles can create uh, near-term pullbacks when you have them. You just need a confirmation candle. But it is a warning sign. Um, here's, the, uh, here's the second warning sign. We go to something like HYG. And HYG here. This is junk bonds. Um, I look at this as a measure of risk appetite. Now bonds in general have been getting killed, but uh, HYG has held up better than government bonds, which is usually bullish, but it's also below this magenta breakout level, right? It's it's not allowed to go back under that magenta line. And you can see it got a little soggy through here. It did try to bounce, it's come back, and now it's traded, it's gonna close three days below the level. I don't really think that's acceptable. Right, I don't necessarily think that's acceptable. Is it a major warning sign? Not really. I mean, this is still a green score. It's just neutral, but it is green. But it is, again, one of the warning signs. The last warning sign I actually found was in um, something like the VVIX, which is the VIX of the VIX. So the VIX of the VIX, it tends to move before the VIX does. And again, if you just look at the VIX, and I wouldn't say it's necessarily implying calm, but it looks more calm than this. And as of today, the VVIX is making a higher close and set to have a very bullish weekly candle. Right? If we look at the weekly candle on this thing and nothing else, so that's a pretty bullish looking weekly candle compared to the last week's candle. You know, it kind of almost engulfs the whole thing, right? And so putting all the pieces together, you have a bad weekly candle on SPY, despite the fact that it's max bull. You have a uh, bad trade in HYG, which can be a precursor to risk reversals. And you have a strong weekly close on the VVIX, which is a precursor to the VIX. So what does that all mean? Well, it means that you have a very bullish market, but I think could be not as calm as it appears on the surface, right? Now next week, you're gonna have a lot of mega cap tech earnings. Uh, you'll also have a, an election coming up pretty soon, and you also have the potential for World War III across the pond. Um, now again, none of that particularly matters, really. I know it seems crazy to say that, but it doesn't actually matter. Um, what really matters is kind of what we're talking about here, and then you, any one of those three things that I mentioned can act as a catalyst, right? So you have a ocean of gasoline, all you need is a spark. And that's kind of the market that I think is in front of us right now. Or at least that's the way that I'm interpreting it. 
So going into next week, I'm going to try to be as flat as possible. Actually, I am going to be as flat as possible going into next week. And the reason being is I just want to be able to stay nimble and uh, appreciate each day for what it is and let the longer term signals align. And frankly, I don't care if the longer term signals align short or if they align long. Um, I just need some level of alignment right now. And right now the signals are long, but there's about 10 warning signs that go along with it. So to me, that tells me, hey, sit on your wallet, be willing to day trade. There's tons of moves intraday. Today's a great example of that. And just wait for things to align. So we'll come back next Friday. We'll do this video again, as we usually do on a Friday. And we'll see if the signals have aligned or if they um, continue to imply more risk than is apparent on the surface. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Before you go somewhere else on the YouTube, leave us a like, leave us a comment. It helps us with the algorithm and we do appreciate it. And I'll see you next Friday. Cheers. Hey traders, this is Sam with Simpler Trading. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you found the information in it helpful. If you did, leave us a like, leave us a comment. It really does help us out with the algorithm. And if you wanna see us trade live with our own real money and be part of the community, come and check us out at simplertrading.com.